CNN has gotten the taped video interview of the former Uvalde CISD police chief that was recorded the day after the deadly Robb Elementary School shooting in May. In the interview, Pete Adedondo recounts what happened on May 24th and explains why he made the decisions he made. You can watch the full story on KSAT.com. President Biden says he was surprised when his personal lawyers told him they found government records back in November. Ten documents were found that covered topics including Ukraine, Iran, and the UK. All have since been turned over to the National Archives, but Republicans are demanding answers. Investigators discovered two weapons, torn clothing, and what appears to be bloodstains after combing through the trash in the search of a missing mother in Massachusetts. Anna Walsh was last seen on New Year's Day. Her husband remains in custody for allegedly misleading police. Body cam images released from the New Year's Eve machete attack at Times Square. The suspect now facing federal charges in addition to state charges. The three NYPD officers injured have since been released from the hospital. Federal prosecutors say the motive for the attack was to start a holy war. A former Missouri City, Texas police officer was executed last night in Huntsville. 65-year-old Robert Frata had been convicted of hiring two contract killers to murder his wife in 1994. The two men hired were also sentenced to death and are both awaiting execution. Americans could soon be paying out of pocket for the COVID-19 vaccine and boosters. Moderna and Pfizer both said when the government contracts in, they're considering charging between $110 and $130 per dose. But there are assistance programs that can help people without insurance get their shot. The Department of Transportation is giving Southwest Airlines 60 days to respond to complaints about the airline not making good on its pledge to issue refunds. More than 16,000 flights were canceled between December 21st and December 31st. The airline has to honor passenger refund requests within seven business days if they paid by credit card and 20 days if they paid by cash or check. If you are noticing higher prices for eggs at the grocery store, you're not seeing things. A bird flu outbreak coupled with higher feed, fuel and labor costs have all helped to double egg prices over the past year. The national average for a dozen hit $3.59 in November. The Mega Millions jackpot has soared to an estimated $1.35 billion, the second largest in the lottery's history after there was no winner in last night's drawing. There hasn't been a Mega Millions winner since October. The next drawing is Friday night. Good luck. That's today's Night at Night. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.